watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Today we're going to be doing a premium review, thus the black label. And this is for knives in traditional styles that are over $50. This one today from WR Case and & Sons. And here's your website, wrcase.com. Good look at the box here, test it XX. And we're looking at model number 245. Now this is a Sodbuster Junior, and this is done in the amper bone handles with peach seed jigging. The pattern number is 6137SS, SS for the stainless steel, and that's their true sharp surgical steel that they use on their stainless blades. So what we have is the closed length on this fella of three and five eighths inches. Good look at the oval script shield there, done in nickel silver. We've got brass pins, and again this amber bone handle with the peach C jigging. Really beautiful style handle, and uh, definitely one of two favorites from Case in terms of their handle material. For me. I like the 6.5 bone stag as well, but this is just a beautiful jigging style and color, in my opinion, this amber bone. So, really, really nice, and you get this nice sod buster pattern. Now, the blade is a stainless blade, as I said, 6137SS the pattern number. You can see this particular knife has the 1X on there denoting that it was made in 2019 and you get the 2 and 7 8 inch drop point blade, Skinner blade as they're calling it. There's a good look at the length. They're saying two and seven eighths inches, but to the very top of the tank, it's about two and three quarters. So the the cutting edge, I would say, is probably closer to two and five eighths inches, with a total length of about two and three quarter. It's not quite two and seven eighths. So I guess with the tang fully exposed, maybe it would be. But if you take a look at the box, it is confirmed that this is the 2019 blade. We've got a date here on the box of June 27, 2019. So it does appear to be definitely a 2019 made knife. Get a nice pull on this. It's bright at 7. I'd say it's quite ideal. Good snap on the close. Get a nice clean nail nick there at the end of the blade for a nice torque to open that rather easily. You can see the reverse of the knife without the shield. Again, very beautiful handle material. These are really well made handles smoothed over on the edges. You can see the the dye or the tanning of the Handle material is quite well done. There's the natural bone there before anything's been done to it. And then you can see the browning on the handle. I really admire how Case does their handles. That's definitely one of the, the bonuses of buying a Case knife is that oftentimes the handle material, depending on what you get, are just superb and this has a really nice mirror finish on the blade another look at that case tang stamp you can see it a little better if I put it at the half position and then on the back you you get the model number there and I guess I put it in the half position on this side as well so it says USA and then 6137 and then SS below it now they do also make this in a CV. Uh, this particular knife is $58 and I think you pay about $65 if you want the, 
the uh, chrome vanadium uh, knife, the carbon, I get, well, it's not carbon, but the other type of blade steel, the chrome vanadium. So I know a lot of people prefer the CV to the SS, but this will be a little more affordable, $58. But you do have that option on this particular handle material, so you can spend a little more and get the other blade type if you if you prefer. But just a wonderful, nice little safe queen for me, not one that I'm going to be carrying. Uh, you know, it's more of a collectible than a user. Uh, that may disappoint some people, but you know, I have so many knives, I have the option of making that call because uh, you know, I've got so many knives it just doesn't make sense to carry them all but uh, this one's really well made I'm really happy with it uh, I know that there's a certain percentage of people that really want to look at a case knife in hand before they they purchase it and then I'm one of those um, you get some blue blade centering on this one as well you can see that's pretty much right down the middle so you know, this one is really well made. No complaints whatsoever. And uh, I feel like, you know, I will continue to uh, buy in that way with my case knives. Just make sure that I'm getting a quality product before I pull the trigger. And uh, if you get them from Shepherd Hills Cutler, you will have that option of having them check the knife before they send it, if you'd like to do that. And I do recommend anyone who buys certain particular patterns from Case, which seem to be a little more prevalent to the uh, gaps and things, that you uh, that you do check out the knife ahead of time. But this particular pattern I haven't had any problems with. I've got two different ones, and neither one have had an issue. So I'm thinking this one's probably pretty safe. But there you go, guys. Beautiful knife from Case in the amber material with the peach seed jigging and just a beautiful knife and if you like sodbuster juniors uh, this type of knife is for you again I get a what they call two and seven eighths inch handle but I'm thinking it's closer to two and three quarter and it's definitely UK legal and I'm sure that case can probably be found across the pond for you UK guys. But that's going to do it for my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button. That helps uh, make sure that this content is viewed and that helps everyone get more content. And if you enjoyed this review, please do subscribe to the channel. And if you hit that bell, you can set your notification preferences and hopefully you'll turn them all on so that you'll be made aware of videos when they drop new ones. But I hope that everyone has a fantastic day today. Please do take care.